All right, in this video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to harvest from your privacy swap. Okay, so why would you want to harvest from your privacy swap? Well, basically, uh, you are actually minting um, PRV tokens on a daily basis. In fact, not even on a daily basis, but every 10 to 15 seconds, you will notice that this amount in your wallet will increase. Okay, so this happens every few seconds. And uh, you can see that in terms of the amount of token that you have, the amount will increase every 10 to 15 seconds, as you just seen over here. Now, if you're not harvesting it, it's not actually doing anything for you. So that basically leaves you with two options. You can harvest them daily and withdraw them into other cryptocurrencies or to your bank account, or you can re-pull them in or in other words, reinvest them in the pools or swap them or exchange them um, or do whatever you want of it. So basically, that sums up into two broad options. You harvest and then you withdraw or you harvest and reinvest. In this video, I'm going to show you both how to harvest and how to reinvest. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is to harvest all, okay? When I click Harvest All, it allows me to harvest all I have here in a single step. Now, something you may encounter sometimes, if you've done this previously, is that when you try to make a harvest, it takes a long time for the transaction to go through. So this is something to do with a, a fee or a transaction fee known as the gas price. This is a default gas price of five, okay? And I'm going to hit it and we'll basically watch it for a minute or so and we'll see what happens. Most transactions should take only one to two minutes. So I'm going to do that and basically it's already gone through. Okay, so this is good. But if you ever face a problem with your harvesting, if it has been like, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and the transaction has still not gone through, then you may want to increase on the gas price. Give it a higher number such as 8 or 9 or 10, okay? And that will enable it to go through in 30 seconds, just as you saw happen here. Now, I will check my MetaMask that I already have this in my asset balance. The next step I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the pools. <laughs> Buy the same token if if you desire to harvest it and then change it to a different currency or withdraw, you can simply head over to the exchange tab. And uh, this is where you can use your existing PRV and you can exchange it to anything else such as a BNB. You can exchange it to a USD, a USDC, a USDT, okay? And for instance, if I did a max, it will calculate how much of USD that would be good for. Over here, I hit swap, hit the confirm a MetaMask, boom, it's done. And all I need to do next is send it to my local exchange that's linked to my bank account and withdraw it in cash. But now, like I said, I'm going to show you how to repool and compound your PRV so that you can have more. If you're not using it in immediately, why not? Let's use token to make more token. So in this case, I'm going to head over to the pool here. Because I already have money in the pool, it's not going to ask me to approve contract. But instead, I'm going to click the plus sign. And when I click this plus sign, I'm going to click on max and hit confirm. Now the same thing here. This is the gas price. And I'm going to go with the basic and basically just let it, let it go ahead for a minute or two. If it goes through, great. If it doesn't, I'm simply going to show you how to increase it. Okay, this today the network is very, very fast and uh, it basically went through already. I can see that the amount here has increased. Okay, and this basically concludes the video. So, um, but I'm going to give you a bonus in this video as well. I'm going to show you how you can calculate how much of holdings that you have and how much of earnings that you can make per day. Okay, so. I'm going to go to this new tab over here. This is a link called 
vfat.tools. Okay, when I do a slash bsc slash privacy, I arrive on this page. It's able to take information from my wallet and it allows me to calculate the daily yield. So I will be looking at the item 5 and item 8. Item 5 is from the pools. It shows how much I have in the pools and it also shows me like uh, how much I can get per day. So from my pool stake alone, I can get 131 based on the current PRV price per day. Per week, 919 and per year, $47,805.36. Now in item number 8, this is how much I have in a farm. And it shows me based on per day, per week, per year, how much I can get. And take note that these numbers do go up and down based on the underlying asset price. For example, uh, the BNB just took a tumble because of the general crypto market taking a tumble along, along the PRV. But the good news is it didn't tumble by much. Uh, in the next couple of days, when the market recovers, because it's all about you know FOMO, right? And uh, when the market recovers, let's say in the 600 region, we're going to come back and review this again, and you can try that on yours as well. And you're going to notice that the per, the per day, per week, per year in, increases dramatically. But anyway, I can keep track of my PRV over here by checking out you know, what is the total PRV here, the total BNB here. So to get a total stake holding, what you would do if you want to keep track of what you have is simply you take this figure, 107.7766 plus this one over here. And I'm assuming that you've already, you've already withdrawn uh, the, the one that's in the claim area if you haven't, and just add them in as well. Multiply that by the price of PRV. And then you're going to go over to the, the BNB number, take 12, multiply by 580. So effectively, that would be 148.59 plus whatever it says in the claim, uh, plus 109.7766 plus 0 0.01, multiply by 63.43 plus 12.0026, multiply by 58, no, 580.16. Uh, Bang, and that, that is your answer of your total state holding. So in this video, I've shown you a couple of things. I've shown you how to um, harvest from the pool, harvest from the farm in a single step by clicking harvest all. I've shown you how to reinvest in pool. I've shown you how to basically swap it using the exchange function to another withdrawable currency that you have linked to your local exchange that is linked to your bank account. And in the final step, I've shown you how to keep track of your daily earnings and basically how to add up your total stake holding. Now, just one final note, all right? For those of you who have a small amount in pool, if you only just started pooling, I do not recommend to do the harvest all on the first page, though it is convenient, uh, because depending on your stake in the pool, uh, it may not be worth it. Because for me, I harvest on a daily basis. Uh, let's say if I, if I can harvest like a one PRV per day in the pool, and uh, if I pay a transaction fee of 20 cents to get 70 bucks, that's pretty worth it. But if my, the amount I'm going to harvest is like three bucks, and I pay 20 cents to harvest three bucks, well, it's not so worth it on a daily basis. All right, just my thoughts. Okay, so what I would do, if you have a smaller investment or you just started getting started in pools, my recommendation is to basically go to the privacy farm and just do the harvest from there for the respective farm that you own. And that's basically it. They will help you save on one last transaction, one last 20 cent or 50 cent being paid per day. All right. If you have any questions on any things covered in this video, you're most welcome to ask in the comments section below. Bye for now.